quite some while ago, I made a video on a game called Ancient Cities. Now, I never actually got to play the game because, I mean, it's not out yet, but it was in a Kickstarter at the time, and it managed to get funded way beyond what its actual expectations were. This was a, a city builder based in the Neolithic time, with nomadic tribal people building up from nothing and going through the ages, trying to get up to a place where you've actually got a safe home to be with. And of course, there's dangers around every corner. But what happened to ancient cities? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys an update on the development of it, where they're at at the moment, and when we can actually expect to see it. First of all, the gameplay in the background is from Dawn of Man, not Ancient Cities. Dawn of Man is another sort of Neolithic caveman city builder. It's quite different, but very similar in other ways, but it doesn't matter. It's relevant to this sort of thing, so I thought I'd play a bit of Dawn of Man, because that is out at the moment, and I thought I'd put that footage in the background along with some of the trailers of the actual Ancient Cities game. But what do we know so far? Well, of course, like I said, you have a nomadic tribe. It is your task to go out into the world and settle somewhere. You have to choose the right place that has the right resources, but of course there are dangers that you have to face along the way. These aren't just natural things, but also man-made dangers that you're going to have to traverse through every step of your journey through ancient cities. Now, they have said on the most recent update that they have been working on modding support. Yes, they are at the moment looking at getting modding support upon release, which I think is a really great idea because this is the type of game where building new maps and building new structures and things like that is really cool for some modding things and maybe even adding some complete overhauls to it at some point and the fact that they're working on it right now means that they're going to put that in release most likely so it's going to be there from the get-go in fact they have confirmed that very basic modding support is already built in the version that they're working with at the moment so that's what they're doing currently and then they have really been focusing on this modding because i really do think these single player games need modding to keep their longevity because they don't have a community or a player base as such of course you have forums and things to talk about this sort of thing and videos and media but in terms of actually being able to play with other people since it's not a multiplayer game you need to keep these single player games growing and moving along in other ways in this case modding so i think it's really great that they're focusing on that at the moment and it is going to be into the steam workshop trying to get that integrated in there whether steam workshop is upon release or whether that's a little bit later down the line who knows but there will be modding support that is already built in at least a basic level when it comes to release but as i said there are going to be many problems that you're going to have to face throughout the world when you spawn in in this ancient cities game you won't have many resources you'll have a few tribes people and like i said there will be many disasters man-made and natural yes there will be natural disasters things like earthquakes floods storms all that sort of stuff i expect maybe lightning storms that can set trees on fire that can that will mean that you're gonna have to sort those issues even though some other things are coming on like wolves bears all that sort of stuff but first of all they are working currently on getting the combat up to scratch because combat and raids will be extremely important in this game now of course they are optional you don't have to go hunting well you might have to go hunting but in terms of hunting other tribes and people that is an optional thing but remember there will also be other tribes and people hunting for you so getting the combat up to scratch is quite important for this you'll have to defend your tribe you'll have to maybe build walls around or maybe you won't have the defenses so your men are going to have to be your walls the first release will start with a, a nomadic tribe and cover the neolithic and bronze age it will start in atlantic europe they haven't got any ideas of really making it go through full time so it will be mostly based around this neolithic time and the bronze age it's not going to go all the way to the iron age and medieval and all that sort of thing but they have said that maybe later on, this is sort of the base game. So Ancient Cities can be where it starts off with and use it as a sort of platform for when later they want to bring in things like other places and ages around the world. So Greece, Rome or Middle Ages in later games maybe. Or maybe even DLCs for this Ancient Cities base game, which will start off in the Caveman. I mean, how awesome would it be if when this game comes out, it is the Neolithic Age. Then a year down the line, another DLC comes out, which brings in the Bronze Age. And then another DLC that comes out that brings out the Iron Age. And it goes through time, and you're able to slowly build up and get to those next stages in history. I think that would be a really cool addition. Of course, that's just my speculation and what I would think would be awesome. But at the moment, we do know that it is 
is just starting with Nomadic Tribe and the Neolithic and Bronze Era to start with, but they haven't disregarded the points of it going further in time at a later date in maybe other games or even in this one later on. Now, people have been asking if they're going to be multiplayer putting in the game. They have stated in a recent Q&A that no, there won't be multiplayer. They don't have plans for that since it doesn't really work with multiplayer with city builders. They have said that if it was a more Age of Empires type game with a camp builder and you could go to battle and things like that, then that might work. But they want to focus on the city building rather than just plopping down a camp and a few buildings and then going to raiding. As they have said, the raiding is there and the combat will be there, but it will be optional. You can go and do that sort of thing, but they want you to focus on building your village and cities because of course back in the day it wasn't all about raiding the most important thing to start with was to get your own place up and running and a game like Age of Empires is great for battles and things like that but you don't really focus on your own place all that much you just put the essentials down and then it is can you beat the other people this is can you build up and can you make a thriving economy and village that you're able to live in and eventually maybe into a city but I mean, modding support is in there, so if anyone can find a way of doing that, maybe at some point that'll be really cool. But they have said they don't want to detriment the single playerness of it for a multiplayer mode, which probably wouldn't really work anyway. But when is it coming out? It's been so long now. It's got to be a year and a half since I made my first video, maybe even two years at this point. And they initially planned it to be in 2018, late 2018. So what has gone on with it? And this is the main focus of this video. They have said that the release date has now been pushed back to some point in 2019. Now I saw spring 2019 pop up, so nearer the end of it. But it shouldn't be too far away. I don't know. I'm just really hoping that it is some point soon because I really can't wait for this game. But I don't think they're going to push it back into 2020. From what I've seen the gameplay and the updates they've given out, it looks like 2019 should be enough. And I'm really hoping it is enough. But at the same time, I don't want them to push it out when it's not ready. Because they have mentioned that early access is not really something they want to do. They want to bring out the game as it is but what do you guys think about this game are you guys excited to play it and do you think it's improved much from when we last heard about it make sure you leave a comment down below but i shall be bringing you new updates and hopefully when we know exactly when it's coming out i will be bringing you an update on that so make sure you subscribe if you want to stay updated with this sort of thing but thank you so much for watching guys make sure you leave a like on the video if you would like to but until then i will see you in the next one